Good morning, guys. It's time for me to leave Sri Lanka. Before coming here, I used to say Sri Lanka. But now that I'm leaving, I am saying Sri Lanka. This is a toilet here. This is my beautiful hotel. I stayed for 17 US dollars. Actually, before I leave a hotel, most of the time, I have to check the plugs here. Most of the time, you're gonna leave your charges there a lot. And sorry, I nearly fell down. I have to make up my bed all the time. This number one is I always believe when I make my bed, my day is always smooth. If I don't make, it becomes otherwise. Number two is when you make up your bed, maybe you you are booking a flight last night with your cards, bank cards, and you forgot about them. So when you make your bed, you ensure you didn't leave anything behind. So two reasons why I make up my bed. Okay, I'm turning this off. Wait, wait, wait. I need to open this. Wow, so... Hey, my friend. How are you? Yeah, checking out. Yeah, guys, I stayed in this beautiful hotel. What's the name of your hotel? Oh, it's actually outside here. I'm gonna show you. Guys, I stayed in this beautiful, beautiful hotel. They were so nice. Like, there's a lady here who I met yesterday. She treated me so, so good. And uh, this is the name of the hotel. It's called Otta Shai Airport Hotel. Very elegant. Looks really beautiful. I didn't even go up. Actually, I'm told there's a rooftop up. Let me show this guy my YouTube channel. Maybe he's gonna, he gonna follow me later. Yo! I show you my YouTube channel, okay? I show you my YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. I wanna show you. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you. So, so when you're chilling here, you can, you can watch me. Okay? Yeah, it's right there already. My name actually is big these days. Please subscribe and enjoy. Okay. And you're gonna see yourself soon. Okay? <laughs> bye bye. Tell, tell, uh, I don't know if it's the receptionist. Very thank you. She was very, very nice. Uh, What's her name? Uh, my name is? No, no, no. The, the, the lady. Uh, yes, please tell her thank you so much. Okay? Yes. Okay. They were really, really nice with me. Now, time to hit the road. You see that fence? That fence right there? That's the airport. So, I need to get some food here. There's a beautiful dog here looking, looking 10 over 10. No, bro, man, that's not my. Come on, I don't plan to scare you. I just wanted you to say hello. Looking like 10 over 10, minus nothing. Is it looking like 10 over 10 plus 10 minus nothing? You know, actually, my flight is at like one. Hey, hey. Look what's happened to me. This thing just opened up. Oh, this place is closed. I thought they were they, they would be open. I need some juice, man. I need some juice. I need some juice, juice, juice. I'm so hungry, I've not eaten anything. Hello! They are closed, man. I thought I'm gonna find some food here. I should have eaten in the hotel. But I thought I was gonna find some juice here. Hello, my friend! Juice! Yes, man. You can make one for me? Mix juice. Please. Pineapple, not pineapple, uh, papaya, and you know, mango and anything, banana. Okay? Quickly, I'm going to the airport. Quick, my friend. Uh, quick. Me, I go to the airport now. So at least, uh, at least quicker. So guys, let me wait for a juice here. Probably. Hello. How are you? Good. So, there's a guy, the only guy I see, he's just gone this way. He's the only guy I've seen here. Yeah, we have a reservation for the hotel for the night. Oh, this hotel? Or the next hotel? This 
Okay. Okay, yeah, because it's early in the morning. What's the name of your hotel? Is it like Imperium? Oh, it's different. I thought, yeah. Then it's this one. I was staying in the hotel right next door. Very good. Okay. It's... okay. So I came to a local restaurant here. I want to have some food very quickly. Head to the airport that way. It's one and a half kilometer that way. So let me eat. I need to eat because I don't know what time I'll eat again today. So let me eat. I hope they knew I'm going to the airport. I'm going to the airport. Quickly. Quickly, please. Yeah. So they brought me some dry fish. I said no to eat. And there is this here. Then I'm waiting for some vegetable soup. I think that will work. Guys, I'm heading to the airport. Actually, that's the airport right there. So, heading there in a few minutes. Now, this guy wants to charge me expensive, but I'm telling him no. no. But uh, my flight has been delayed for one hour. I think that's a good thing. Given that right now the time is around 11. Yes, so let's go see. Okay, bro, take care. So, I just arrived at the airport. First time I'm walking to an airport. It feels kind of weird because most of the time. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's here, there. I think that should be the main entrance. My friend, entrance airport? Airp airport, yes. Airport district. Oh, right here? Okay. okay. So now I want to go through check-in and everything then we can actually depart I don't know if you can see right in front of me says departure Okay <laughs> I recommend you guys to stay in the hotel I stayed it's very near From the airport you pay like one dollar I feel bad they are cleaning and I'm walking here But again it's your job so it says, it says departure. So let me go and depart. Departure. So I'm departing. I want some foreign exchange. Let me do some foreign exchange here. Get some dollar. So I'm trying to change my Sri Lankan rupees to dollars. So in the first uh, banks, they have said they don't have the cash. Technically, you know, Sri Lanka needs the dollar more than it wants to give it out. But at the same time, this is the movement of money. So. Oh, look that picture. That's Sri Lanka. Let me hope here they change it for me. So I'm waiting for commercial bank. Let me hope. The money, I need to go to the second security check. I think right here. So I'll tell you more about the exchange of money, okay? I think it's supposed to be here. I just went through second check-in. I mean security check. Now I'm supposed to, I don't know. I have I don't I don't need to check in because it's a carry-on but sometimes other airlines actually ask you to check in because they need you to, they need to verify some information but that being said is let me see what to do here so I changed my money there so they charge like a thousand Sri Lankan uh, rupees as commission and then the rate of exchange was 370 73 Sri Lankan rupee per one US dollar so that is it i think the movement of money that's what makes the country now like back to its feet okay so let me see what to do here i need to check in but i need to see the flights sri lankan air this one here it's still the same sri lankan air let me see what to do maybe i don't need to check in or i need to check in or maybe i should just proceed to immigration right there and departing gates so now i'm ready Officially, I've left 
Sri Lanka. Departure gates shows this way. So let me go there and wait. Sri Lanka is a very beautiful country, guys. If you have time, come visit them. Actually, it has surprised me. One thing I loved the most about this country was it was not dusty. The guy shouting behind me. It was not dusty, like it looked clean. Even at the airport, you can see that. Maybe this is because it's the airport, yes. But I'm telling you, even as I walked around the country and toured, one thing that stood out is how beautiful and stunning it was from natural beauty to also them like maintaining. For example, it has tiny roads, but well done. No potholes, nothing. I want to miss Sri Lanka for sure. And I think I'll be back someday. Yes, now, right in front of us, the airlines, Sri Lankan Air, takes over this place. I'm heading to Maldives. Let's see how this Maldives treats me. The last time my sister was there, the immigration really like um, scrutinized her. And then my sister told me when she was leaving, everybody subscribed to her channel. So let's see what's going on here. Boom. Glass from top to bottom. I don't know where my gate is. I need to be serious about this. I just saw the view and I decided to come here because uh, it looked beautiful. Maybe it's already... This Sri Lanka, it's, it's, a, it's a jungle vibe. Remember also Sri Lanka is like a... Who are sleeping here? I need, I need to go to the screens and check. Sri Lanka is an island, so... Everything is island vibe, you know? Let me see here. The only issue I had here is the day I landed, the immigration, not immigration, actually, I think they, they were just doing their job. My flight to Mal is right there. Gate number six. Check in. See? It's time to check in. Gate number six. Which gate am I now? They say there's, there's Wi Fi here. See? Some people are sleeping in the airport. I don't know why. Maybe they've been waiting here for long. But I'm looking for gate number six. Mm, looks like there. Say six to fourteen that way. Uh, I'll miss Sri Lanka. Afro people I met here and all the amazing memories. Uh, we had me and Priya, the train. It's crazy. Actually, that being said, I just want to post right now a video, my final video on my Instagram about Sri Lanka. Go there and see. It's about a train, okay? So please go check right now. You can post this video. It says number get 6 to 14. So I have to go that way. So right now, post this video. Go add me on Instagram, the same name as my YouTube channel because otherwise you'll be missing a lot. I know I post a lot here, but at the same time I post a lot on my Instagram that if you follow me on Instagram and you follow me on YouTube, you have a complete, complete tour of a country. Let me find my getting board number six, Sri Lanka. Beautiful day. Also, I had one of the beautiful massages here. I'm not saying massage with happy endings, you know, I mean like nice massage because I carry my bag. It's like 23, 25 kgs. Number six, we keep going that way. Wow. Actually, Sri Lanka surprised me. People are so kind, nice, calm. And I didn't see lots of scams here. I didn't see that. Okay, I have to turn my camera on because in front of me, I see security. This is gate number. I don't know. I keep saying that way. I see police. I don't want to film them. Wow. I'm supposed to go that way. Looks beautiful. Island vibe. Imagine having an, a house in Sri Lanka always have to say like this i have a house in an island because the entire country is an island so amazing you know so yeah i realized drones in asia people don't like them even as i was checking in i saw they said if you have drones and anything declare them so something you have to be very careful when you're coming to asia with drones 
but drones make film like that look so nice boom Sri Lanka LG is promoting them you see I think I need a screen like this in my house super huge okay get number six onwards we go Sri Lanka is amazing come visit them I swear you won't regret yes it's just beautiful so from a real travel commando come visit it's a nice place if you come two of you like you and your girlfriend or your wife or husband or family because it's very chill yeah i think uh, i'm already at get six so i think even sitting around here will be okay for me now let's see some nice uh, sit there let me sit there and wait i think i'll sit somewhere here this bag is killing me I need to change strategy actually mail my leaves goodbye Sri Lanka time to catch flights they say not feelings so happy to catch that So, hello. This airline actually allowed me to select my seat. You know, that was that was amazing. So at least I know I'm sitting on a window seat. Otherwise, most of the time you have to kind of like say, "Oh, I'm so lucky" or something like that. Cheers, this guy here. Uh, I don't know if I want to show him or not. <laughs> Let's. Let's go into our flight. Sri Lanka. looks like that this is like business class not really first class <laughs> after I finish building my house I'll be flying this all the time for now the struggle is real number nine Sometimes these seats are really good. They feel like first class because they have more space. This one's there. Nine F. That's right. I can put my bag here, right? do this one more time Sri Lankan Air is my second time flying with them the first time I really loved it they serve a lot of food this flight is so short it's like exactly 55 minutes but again I feel like I want to go to the toilet but again I'm like no Mario you can hold on let's see my bag is on the other side one way to Maldives okay Actually, it's one of the best flights to fly with. Check my review of this flight. But the video does not really directly talk about flying with Sri Lankan airline. It talks about bad mistreatment at the airport. Actually, same, this same airport, this one here. Okay. But uh, 
all in all it was really good really good did you know actually like sitting in uh, seats close to emergencies they're always like like first class seats and you can actually choose to sit there especially if the flight allows you to if the airline allows you to pick the seat you can actually because they have more space It's like leaving at 210. It takes 54 5 minutes to arrive. Goodbye, Colombo. Goodbye, Sri Lanka. It's a nice day in the island. Beautiful country. local area because the big city is right there
subject air traffic control channels. Shortly landing. Leaves. Can't wait to see this island. It's like it's like cream de la cream. If you really want to travel the world, like you know, the best of the best beaches. I want to see them. I guess it's Indian Ocean. Wow, more than exciting. equals to 15 Maldivian maybe rupees I'm not sure it's MVR I just stepped out and it reminded me of Cartagena, Colombia. So this always happens to me. I was in the line, I reached at the counter and they just told me I have to sit here and wait. 
they have my passport. Traveling with an African passport is one of the hardest things any traveler can face. So let me wait and see. I don't know what time they're gonna check me. In. It's four or three. So I actually realized Maldives is one hour behind the rest. So it's three, not four. So the time I showed you, you have two minus one hour. Okay, officially welcome to Maldives. So first is, uh, I need to get a SIM card. Number two, I need to find taxi to my hotel. But again, I'm only staying here for four days, so I don't know if really I need a SIM card, but uh, I think I need a SIM card. Let me see if I get one somewhere here. SIM card. Should I take a SIM card or ATM? I need an ATM. Wow, oh, I need an ATM with me. So, let me start with here. So, 50 USD. This 17.5 USD. I think first I need an ATM. ATM machine. You get some local currency. So, I passed through immigration, uh, so they stopped me. It's kind of obvious with me because of my passport, I believe, 100%. So it took like one hour or two hours to process me. Um, the madame who was like the boss, who was, she was supposed to give me entry or deny me entry, was really kind with me. Like she took her time to do her job. She asked me questions. I didn't carry enough money with me. I had like $400 with me. But that's because uh, since I came to Asia, I've been using dollars. I always walk with at least $1,000. So, but good thing is uh, she was more understanding and she checked my bank account. She saw my balance. She checked my job, what I do. I think maybe she's watching this video. <laughs> and she gave me entry and she gave me one condition. Please don't change the anything. Like I say, don't change your flight number, don't change your day of... And true, I'm not changing because honestly, I'm just here for four days. That is it. So getting out, the custom lady sees me, pulls me over, asks me, where are you from? Can I have your passport? I give her my passport. What have you come to do here? Which hotel are you staying? So somehow I feel like the hotel that you're staying kind of says the type of person you are you know so if they don't know the name they keep pulling you up. i'm just trying to judge here but that's what i'm feeling a personal point of view and don't kill me for this so they pull me over they scan my bag like three times they don't see anything the guy on the computer says there's nothing but the madam insists we have to check this bag probably she thought i was a drug dealer because it's very rare to see somebody from Kenya, maybe Africa, traveling the world. I will break those barriers. I think I was, I, was, I was born to do that, to break those barriers so that I create a way for other people, especially coming from the same background I'm coming from. Uh, so the so immigration lady was really nice with me. She did her job. I respected her a lot because she was very professional with me. And also she realized uh, I have my things straight, straight, straight. I had my, I have my flight booked already to, my, to go back to my home. So the only issue I think she had with me was I didn't have cash money with me, but I, she checked my bank account and saw the money I had. She was comfortable with that. Uh, but coming to the customs, I feel like the lady technically selected me. She, she felt this bag, we must find something in it. She asked the guy the, to scan. The guy scanned, say this bag has nothing. He said, no, take it back again. Scan three times, nothing. She went to the office and called uh, one guy to come and check manually. This guy checked, 
and he asked me what I do. I told him I'm a YouTuber. They took my YouTube name. So guys, if you're watching this, kindly treat us nicely. We, we were just want to travel the world. We just want to see the world. We just want to see these Maldives and nothing much. And the world is integrated. If you come to my home, Kenya, you'll be surprised how developed it is. It's not like we are dying, running from hunger or all those stuff. So I wish you change your perception about us, especially black from Africa. I feel like that's a huge thing when I'm traveling, especially in Asia. I see this in Asia a lot. I don't see this when I'm in Spain or France or I don't see that. And uh, yeah, remember the last three months I was in Europe. I traveled 23 countries. I didn't see any of that. But uh, I saw this in Sri Lanka. Now I'm seeing it here. Similar, same thing. At the same time, it is what it is. But I'll keep talking about it until things get straight, you know? So let me get some uh, Maldives. Hey, my friend, where is the ATM here? Which side? I, how much is one dollar for local currency, my friend? It's 15.4. Uh, 15.4. It rates uh, like different different people different rates. But from the ATM? Yeah, 15 points. Okay, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. That is my first civilian uh, Maldivian I'm talking to. Very nice. Very helpful. Okay. So let me find where the ATM is. Oh, I need an ATM. ATM. I don't know if I need a SIM card. I, but I don't know how I'll survive four days with no SIM card. I need a SIM card for sure. We're talking about 35 USD. So, ATM. ATM, let me see where ATM is. Oh, this is a tours. ATM, ATM, ATM. Da -da 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 -da. My friend, ATM. ATM? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bro. Let me go get some ATM. I get... ATM. Now, which one will I use? Oh. Uh, I have some dollars with me, but I think if I take two hundred dollars in four days i'll see if i need more i'll get more let me get some money from here so guys this is the maldivian uh, rupee how do you call it rupee rufia. Yeah, rufia, rufia. rufia and i met some guys here they want to take a picture with me so let's go that way this is 10 rufia and 5 rufia oh wow what's your name nisham nisham okay they're gonna be on my vlog Sure. Let me know. I have no idea if it's in the local side. Ah, okay. So, guys, we're gonna take some nice picture here. First Maldivian photos with Nishel. Nisham. 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 Arish. Arish. Legendary. Legendary Arish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, this is the airport. It's actually in the middle of surrounded by water. Ah, these guys brought me here. So, how are we doing it? You can take a selfie. Okay. 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 Let's take some selfie here. Oh, some people go with the boat. Yes. yes. This is for Centara. Oh, Centara. I don't know. Let me let me see where my hotel is, so you guys can uh, yeah. tell me if it's the boat or taxi or. Uh, so you guys work here in the airport. Yes. yes. You work as. Uh, airport yeah, airport reps. Oh. Hotels. Oh. 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 Okay. I work for Riti Faro. Okay. Okay. I work for Rio. 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 I think I've seen Rio. Rio it's worldwide, right? Yeah. Spanish yeah. company. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rio means river. No, actually, it's the name of the Chiapas. Oh, okay. You ready? So let's take some nice pictures.
No, come, come here. I feel like you're far away. <laughs> yeah, and, and legendary guy. Legendary for short, yes. Hey, Tori. Okay. Tori, can you put it in? No, no, no. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in. Okay. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to put it in. See you soon. Yes. <laughs> so you say taxi? Straight. Okay. Straight. And yes. you can show the name. Yeah. And they will take you there. Five dollars. Yeah. Less than that. Less than that. So I just need to pay five dollars and I'll be okay. I think those guys made it very clear. So other guys are going to their places with boats because we are in we are in Maldives. So here it's like small small islands you see like that's an island that's an island right there is an island Whoa. thank god i didn't come with a drone if i came with a drone it would have been a problem here because they would one of uh, these countries would have already taken it but you see with a drone you show lots of beauty of the country but again countries are uh, afraid of them Let's go this way. I see if I get some some taxi guy. They don't. They said five dollars. Not more than five dollars. Actually, I will stick to that. I need a SIM card. I didn't buy a SIM card. You see now, that's the problem. I'll buy maybe in the town or somewhere. Let me see if a taxi guy five dollars. Taxi look like taxi. Let me show this guy. My friend here. Yes. You want to go there? Yeah, I want to go there. You get Yeah. Yeah, okay. Come. How much you charge me? Uh it's uh, actually in dollars. Uh it's nine dollars. No, they say five my friend. Eighty eighty it's a uh, five dollars uh, they actually problem is you give five dollars they exchange uh, people there no i have lo i have local currency local local currency okay how much 80s right 80 okay local currency. local currency yes but i don't know if you have changed but uh, we go we're gonna find one man huh? i have 500 but i think we're gonna find in my hotel or somewhere okay let's go my friend because if you give dollar, yeah. then we can't change money exchange. They are giving for 10 rupiah rate. Oh, instead of 15. Yeah, so, actually it's 15. Yeah. If you give him $1, like $5, then they will give. Oh, I see what you mean. So it's, it's better you take local currency because you don't, you, you don't have to lose anything. Yeah. Wow. My hotel is good location or bad location, my friend? Great beach. Yeah. 50 50 hmm? is good location or mm. actually Rivet Beach in Wishma Road? Oh, let me check, guys. Let's check this so I'll be sure where I'm going. So, you say this is the capital, Mail. Yeah, how do you pronounce it? Male or Mail? Male, Male. Yeah, so you say in Male, it's not like the beautiful Maldives because because. Maldives is like, uh, you told me it's like over 1,000 islands. Yeah, more than 1,000 islands. More than 1,000 uh, islands. Uh, one or something islands are people are living. Then some industrial islands we have, it's resort and industrial island we have. Oh, some islands are just resorts. Yeah, just resorts, some islands. Wow. And you can see the Mahafoshi that is uh, in near to capital city for the local tourism. Oh. Uh, one of local islands is... So for four days, what can I do here, bro? Which, which kind of food do you need? No, 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 not food. Like, what can I do in four days here? Let's say tomorrow, if I want to see as much as possible, where can I go? Uh, better you have to uh, see the, our water sports and you have to option for the uh, diving underwater. You can see uh, how it's built. Where is the best resort? Can, can I show like good, nice resort around here? Around here, I think our best, they have uh, Vela and W Maldives resorts and one and only Rizira. They have a lot of resorts in here. Oh. And it is five star resorts here. Yeah. Okay, wow. Hey, they are building something here. Yeah, they are planning to 
fix the solar panel. Oh. Because, uh, we need the energy you now. Okay. Guys, welcome to Maldives. Kind of tiresome day for me today. After flying from Colombo, Sri Lanka. I'll be here for four days. You know, Maldives is very, very popular. But what I'm learning actually after landing here is I may not see the beauty of it because the beauty we see on Instagram is always not here in the center, in, in the capital, Malay. It's, it's always like some small, small island somewhere in the middle of the ocean. Which ocean is this? Indian Ocean? Uh, actually, it is called uh, Indian Ocean. Oh, this is Indian Ocean. Wow. Because my home also, Kenya, we have Indian Ocean. Yes, because Maldives is like here and Africa is right down here. Wow. It's a dream for me to come here, bro. Yeah. A lot of, I see lots of Instagram, Maldives, Maldives, until I say, no, I have to go. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think you can visit uh, some island. Yeah. There is Mahaposhi and Tudustu and Himmaposhi. Then okay. you can see our beach. white sand beach also. Oh. That's how beautiful. But okay. uh, in Malay capital city, there's nothing city, to see. If we have in capital city too much population. Okay. Then now in Hulumale, that is the artificial island. Now people are living here. Actually, here you can't see our real beach. Oh. But, uh, you can see beach also. Okay. So, which is the closest best island I can visit? Because uh, I don't want to hassle too much because I only have four days. And here? Yeah, around Mali, here. You, you can visit Willingili also. Willingili, you can see our natural view also. Vil Vil is Vil Vil Mali Island. It's, it's called Willingili. 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 It's part of the main city. Okay. But okay. Uh, you have to go the ferry. Now, just Mali to Willingili, just two minutes you can go uh, ferry. Ferry is two minutes? Yeah. Oh, wow. I think tomorrow I'll do that. Male to Viringiri. I'll write. I'll write those names. Yeah. Guys, let's go. I'm gonna show you where I'll, where I'll be staying in my hotel. And this is our seaplane terminal. There, you can see if you wait here. Yeah. Uh, seaplane. How seaplane now operating and landing there? There's something landing here. Yeah, seaplane is landing here. Actually, yeah, there are planes have... which land here. Yeah. Here. Wow. Wow. Like... Yeah, actually, this is uh, the seaplane fleet is world largest seaplane fleet in here. Wow. Maldives. How much is the pet petrol here, man? Being an island, it must be expensive. Now it's uh, before pandemic, uh, some in, in Russia. Before Russia, uh, before Russia invasion. Uh, the, that time we, we have uh, get uh, 10 rupiah and all 9 rupiah also. Oh, now is? Now it's me 16 rupiah like. 16? Yeah, one six. One six. Yeah. Wow, that's like a uh, one dollar, around there. Yeah, around one dollar. One dollar and and some cents, some change. Yeah. Okay. Wow, man. Because uh, petrol is expensive now because we have Russia, Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say now. It's Everywhere expensive. it's expensive now. Even my home is expensive. Wow, man. What is uh, what is the most expensive thing about this island? Is it the food or accommodation? Islands, I mean, like Maldives. Is it the food or accommodation? Food, uh, actually, that is for the local people. They have uh, what? What we can say? Food or accommodation, which is more expensive? You know, sometimes other countries you find like accommodation is very expensive, especially being an island. Actually, accommodation also food also not expensive, but. Yeah, living uh, middle class people, they have, they can afford. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. They, actually, within his population, uh, our 95 population, we have uh, now we teenage plus teenage age plus people. We have now uh, iPhone 14 Pro or 13 Pro. Yeah, because yeah. Because people are uh, have money also now. Okay, I see the point. Wow, uh, Maldives. I had problem with immigration, man, and but also the the custom. They check me too much, you know. So until I felt a little like sad, you know, like oh man, let them let me go. <laughs> uh, but again, I'm excited to be here. It's just an amazing day. Beautiful. This is a tour city tour bus. 
No, no, this is uh, actually local bus, oh. public transport. Oh, government or private? Uh, it's a government company. Oh, wow, bro. Eee, you guys have double deckers. Wow, oh, look at these buses. Oh, that's Maldives for you, man. So most people here, what's their main job? Are they like farmers, fishermen, or or? Actually, here most people are doing uh, our main industries are tourism. Yeah. And then fisheries. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. Tourism and fishery. Yeah, Maldives is very popular, bro. Yeah. And after my videos, again, it's gonna go platinum <laughs> because I make good videos, you know. Yeah. Really, really good ones. The man here it's called uh, Rufi yeah. Rufia. Rufia. Rufia, not rupee. Not rupees, it's Rufia. Rufia, wow, that's one thing I realize. It's like it's like rupee, but we don't want rupee, so we say Rufia. Yeah. Wow, Maldivian Rufia. Yeah, Maldivian Rufia. Wow. And this is hundred percent Muslim country. Hundred percent Muslim country. Yeah. Oh, damn! I didn't know that, man. Those are like. A amazing facts you're like, telling me oh so my hotel is around here 100% Muslim wow yes. bro how how did that happen like Portuguese never arrived here because you know Portuguese they're the guys no, who Portuguese is uh, we can we have take history but uh, uh, in Portuguese they I don't know how to explain that history yeah <laughs> Who colonized? Who colonized uh, Maldives? Hmm? Who colonized this country? Uh, like the British colonized Maldives, or yeah, British it's... also. Guys, we are here. See the beautiful beaches, but I'm not seeing anybody swimming. Or maybe there are too many beaches everywhere until nobody cares. Or maybe this is the the bad one. My taxi guy concentrate to get to where I'm staying first. Four days in Maldives. Yeah. Let me show you my YouTube name. Is the real deal? Yeah. Guys, I wanna show him my YouTube. Uh, so, guys, in Sri Lanka, uh, not Sri Lanka, in Maldives, the main language is called Dive Divehi. 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 Followed by English and yeah. also Arabic because Arabic also. Yeah, mostly it's uh, influenced. And 85% people know Hindi also. 85% know Hindi? Yeah. That's how India is influential in this region. Because also in Sri Lanka people speak Hindi. Because Hindi. Uh, we are watching Indian movies and everything. So my question is, the, that lady, she's not wearing hijab. No. But this is 100%. Is that? 100% yeah. Muslim. But some people can... Because I was expecting not to see a lady with no hijab. Or maybe others are foreigners just like me or traveling 100% You got it my friend? He's showing me something here in his phone but uh, he couldn't find it Guys this is Maldives, I'm gonna be here for 3 days Also I wanna thank the immigration lady for giving me the opportunity to see your country madam She actually told me please 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 don't change the dates I stick to my words ma'am I will not change the dates because honestly I'm just here for 4 days That's my schedule Yes, thank you so much. I want to show you where I'm staying in this hotel. That's the beach right here. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow early in the morning walking to Indian Ocean of Maldives and just see. As I already told you, it's the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Maldives that you always see like, like uh, houses in the middle of the ocean. You have to take a ferry and you go that way because there are like a thousand islands here. Let me take you here, then we're gonna be ending our video once I show you my hotel room. Guys, I need to check in my hotel. This is it. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you, bro? So it's my small camera, my YouTuber. Yeah. Yes. I have a reservation here. What's your good name, sir? Hey, uh, Frederick Maro. Ah, right. That's my name. Sir, uh, I'm paying uh, 270 for four nights much better than uh, Europe 270 US dollars yes no I wanted to tap oh I don't want to show this on camera because 
So breakfast included, just to mention, it starts uh, 7 a.m. until 10. Heavy breakfast or light breakfast, my friend? Light breakfast. Sir. Light? Aye, <laughs> not good. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be heavy breakfast like I'm eating until I'm like oh, my boots He's telling me light breakfast Kenya. Kenya Guys, I booked my room. I thought it's gonna have a sea view But the receptionist tells me No sea view if I'm looking for sea view. I have to pay extra So I paid 270 for three nights. It's roughly around um, Let's say 20 28 27 divided by 3 close to 70 or 75 USD. So let me see my room. The gentleman here is showing me my room in Maldives. The problem is we are going that way instead of that way because the sea. Whoa, that's my room in Maldives. Very nice, looks nice. I wish just it had a sea view. Hey, my friend, looks very comfortable. Okay. Yes, breakfast tomorrow. Yeah. Seven, 7 in the morning. 7.30 to 10. Okay, 7.30 to yeah. 10. Let me connect. Wait, I connect my, my laptop so I'm be yeah. sure I, I am okay. Guys, I need to connect my laptop. I give you a small room tour before that. One minute, my friend. Don't go, okay? Yeah. This is the toilet. It's very clean. And here, I don't know what's here. Okay, close it. Okay, close it. Nice bed. His window. Oh my god. Oh, that's the ocean. I can peep it from here at least. A mosquito here or no mosquito? Sometime. Sometime. The new prime minister, you know? All I need is you, baby, baby. Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.